Good morning and uh, welcome back to Wembleston Park. Uh, it's been a few months since I did an update. Uh, mainly due to moving stuff around the house and being ill, but uh, we're getting over it. Anyway, moving on. Just getting on my workbench. Today we've got something a little bit different for you. Uh, I've been building these little servo boards. If you can see that. This is called a servo 4 and these come as a kit and they are available from Merg. If you have a look uh, in the descriptions below uh, I will put the link to Merg. Uh, you have to join to get the kits, £16 a year membership uh, but it's well worth it. Uh, anyway we're going to have a quick look at these. Uh, like I say I've just recently done 10 of these for a friend of mine for his layout uh, so I'm just going to do a quick video so that he can use this as a reference for setting them up. Okay. Anyway over here, some of you may recognise this, uh, this is a power supply that you would get out of a, a PC and if you want to use one of these for model railway use there's plenty of videos out there online showing you how to do conversions but in all honesty uh, I found that uh, when they're connected to the layout you don't need to put a load or anything on it because it's already got a load of the layout but to get them to work if you take the big plug and cut off the green wire and twist the green wire and the black wire together and then when you put a mains lead into here it will power up. Uh, with a computer power supply uh, you get, you've got your cables here that would go to your hard drives. Uh, the yellow wire is 12 volts, the red wire is 5 volts, the black wire is 0 volts and if you have a look on the other plug you can sort of see you've got the orange wire. The orange wire will give you 3.3 volts which is quite useful for LEDs and stuff like that. Uh, you will still have to use a small uh, resistor for your LEDs but it's, you, you can do it that way. Anyway, uh, the other thing to note as well is if you do that is there's a brown wire here connected to this orange wire and what that does is it's, it's a sense cable uh, so that this power supply can regulate the voltage but what I will do in a future video is I will do a proper video on this uh, I just thought I'd quickly show that anyway down to what we were going to work on today so over here I've set up a little test rig I've got four servos these are quite uh, cheaply available on eBay this one's actually packed up uh, so just have a scout about an eBay, you'll be able to pick them up and basically these, to make them work you have to have a, a driver board, hence the Merg kits so I'm just going to jump straight in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the power supply blowing a bit of a cold air in the garage today and on the board you've got a a port here, this is a serial port, RS232 you use this to program this chip on the board the board will drive four model aeroplane servos uh, over here, the other connection over here is your power so you've got your 12 volts comes into here and over here are your control inputs so if I short that out I don't know if you can see that servo moving on the bench there if I let go it should come back same with that one, same with that one, and so on. What you need to program them, Merg do a setup box, but they also do a, uh, a download of a, a setup program from the website. But like I say, you've got to be a member. Uh, the the software is the easiest way to do it, uh, but what you might need is you might need uh, an adapter like this. This is a, a USB to a serial port adapter. Uh, you can probably pick one up on eBay. Uh, so basically what you do is this plugs into this board here like that and then if I turn the camera around I've got the computer set up over here. Now over here this is weird because everything's backwards in the monitor to me but over here these where it says on and off these are your end stops so basically it, the end stop means that it goes from here to here 
and when you move these these selects where the end stop is so you can fine tune your servo if you're setting up signals and points and stuff and these two columns here these are just the speed of the servo okay so what I shall do is if I move my mouse okay you'll have seen that this has moved over there and then when I click the other test button it'll move back now let's just see if I can get this in shot as well I think about six pairs of hands here tell you what if I hold that can I get that in shot there let's have a look there you go you saw the servo move and you can see the servo move again okay like I say this is your end stop so if you watch if I can just thought this through very well have I if you kind of hold the if I kind of hold the servo there so you can just about see it in the corner and if I pull this down looking at the wrong one sorry if I pull that down you can see the servo moves in relation to where I'm moving that on the screen okay now then if you if I press the test so the servo moves okay now then if I move this which alters the speed and if I put that up on the slowest setting and click that see how it's going really slowly now I should get to the end of there and then when I press this one that comes back and again this one if you adjust this up here that does the speed going the other direction Okay, so you can sort of see that moving. And that is basically all there is to it. So there you go, there's a quick introduction to the setting the servos. Well, I'm making a right mess of this video. I'm not used to this new camera, you'll have to bear with me. Uh, what you do then is you'll note on the screen here. I don't know whether you can see them very well, but on over here it says Servo 1, Servo 2, Servo 3 and Servo 4. You select which one of these servos you want to program, so you click on it and you basically move these about to wherever you want them to go to and you set your speeds where you want everything to go to. And you do that for each individual servo and then you click down here where it says write data to board and you press that and basically you can hear the servos moving about and that's it that's program the servo so now what happens if I bring the camera back whoops bring the camera back around like that now what happens is when you take this out and you connect it to the switches on your layout this now moves the servos Uh, to operate the servos you just need a, a straightforward on off switch so you close the switch oops you close the switch servo goes one way open the switch servo goes the other way uh, and that's all there is to it uh, but anyway like I said uh, I should do a proper update video shortly uh, this is just a quick uh, how to for my friend uh, who's going to be picking these boards up later today uh, so that's about it for today. So anyway, this is Dave signing off, uh, and I'll speak to you shortly. Cheerio.